They are teaching an amazing permaculture course here. And I had a very special guide to tell me about some of the things that we saw. Like cow dung will be there, no? If we take it and keep it near our mobile, no, the radiation will of a mobile will come to zero. They say that the power in cow dung is very much. Here they're breeding 18 different types of indigenous cows. Every day they sing and play music to their cows to make them happy. I was told that they produce a different kind of healthier milk. This place kind of blew my mind to be honest. I also visited the Ayurvedic Hospital, Vedic Children's School and Astrology Garden that they have here. The importance that is placed on preserving and sharing ancient knowledge and systems to such a large scale is inspirational. Time to get the Mysore Express. Nine and a half hour train journey, let's go. I watched the scenery turn from very lush green to these huge brown stony rocks as I started to get closer and closer to Hampi. Hampi is a 20 minute auto ride from the station. I'm making my way to Sanapur, which is on the other side of the river. And because I arrived at night, the river boats closed, so we had to go all the way around. This is also where Hippie Island used to be. You can catch all my Hampi adventures in the next video. Including the falls, Sanapur Lake, the Hampi temples, and the monolithic ruins of this lost kingdom. Come and check it out with me. If you know where this is, then you know exactly where I'm headed next after Hampi. I'm on that seven to eight hour car journey down to the coast. The last time I came here I was about seven years old and it's still how I remember it.
so I ended my trip here and wow, what a great time! See you soon!